The Trevi Fountain is certainly the largest in Rome, but it's not alone. Romans have always had a special relationship with water, which spouts from fountains everywhere in the city. In fact, Rome is a fountain lover's dream. It's hard to walk anywhere without hearing the sound of splashing water. But it was here that Anita Ekberg immersed herself in the turbulent waters of the Trevi Fountain in the 1960 film La Dolce Vita. This fountain is undoubtedly the best known in Rome, and it's a huge attraction for tourists. But at night, it completely takes your breath away. It was designed by Niccolo Salvi in 1762 and shows Neptune as the central figure, flanked by two sea gods. While one struggles to master his unruly seahorse, the other leads a much calmer steed. This symbolizes the two contrasting moods of the sea, which seems to burst out of an artificial cliff face built into the wall of the Palazzo Poli. The water that pours over the fountain was brought to Rome by an underground aqueduct called the Aqua Vergine, and there's a carving above the fountain showing Roman soldiers discovering the actual spring from where the water flowed. The Trevi Fountain is known as the queen of all monuments, and some have argued that it's the most beautiful fountain in the world, others the most beautiful piece of architecture. Many visitors may assume that the Trevi Fountain has always been there, but by Roman standards, the Fontana di Trevi is actually very new. In 1732, the story of the Trevi Fountain really begins, because that's when Pope Clement XII commissioned a man by the name of Nicola Salvi to design the fountain. He was an architect, he was an artist, and most of all, he was a sculptor and a genius. But Salvi's work was not admired by everyone. On the other side of this wall was a barber shop, and in it a barber who was not too pleased about the construction going on around his business. He would come out every day and scream at Nicola Salvi, sometimes from a distance, sometimes directly in his face as the story goes, Nicola Salvi, your fountain is so ugly. The noise, the craziness, all of this ruins my business. You are terrible, I hate you, and I hate your fountain. Well, Nicola Salvi got a little tired of this, and in turn, he built this, a gigantic wave crashing up against the side of the wall, which happens to be directly in front of this man's business. So, people inside could hear the water flowing, they could hear the fountain, and they could hear people enjoying the fountain, but they could not see it. And there's an urban legend that says no business has lasted more than six months behind that wave. The Trevi Fountain was also immortalized by the 1954 film Three Coins in the Fountain and it's thought that this is how the tradition of throwing coins into the fountain began. The uh, idea is you take a coin in your right hand and throw it over your left shoulder. One coin, you shall return to Rome. Two coins, you shall return to Rome and be kissed. Three coins, you shall return to Rome, be kissed, fall in love, and get married. But not all travelers realize that you have to throw the coin in this way if your wish to come true. Who knows? If you throw the coin correctly, you may get lucky. But even if your wish doesn't come true, none of the money will be wasted. The Trevi Fountain is regularly drained and cleaned. The coins are then swept up and collected in bucketfuls. All the Italian lira goes to the maintenance of the fountain itself, and all the foreign currency is donated to charity. So no matter what, you're giving your money to a good cause. As you can see, there's people throwing coins in all over the place right now. In fact, that goes on all day and all night, every day of the year. And the bottom line is, if you're bored in Rome, you come here and this place is rocking and rolling all the time. There's always something entertaining, and if you don't want to watch the fountain, there's plenty of people to watch as well. The Trevi Fountain is a must-see at number 10 because it's a masterpiece which can be visited any time of the day or night. It's a great place for a photo opportunity and to capture one of the most incredible sights in Rome.